Hello, and welcome to our lesson on finding an unknown length in a right angle triangle. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of A. Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse side. So the 20 centimeter is the hypotenuse side. And the area of a square on the hypotenuse side, so 20 squared, is equal to the area of a square on the 15 centimeter side, so 15 squared, plus the area of a square on the side of A, which is A squared. We can work out 20 squared as 400, and 15 squared is 225, and A squared is what we're trying to find. We can find A squared by taking away 225 from both sides, and these will cancel. 400 take away 225 is 175, and that is equal to A squared. To work out A, we take the square root of both sides, and the square and the square root will cancel. So the length of A will be the square root of 175, which is approximately 13.2 centimetres. We can work out B using the same idea. The area of a square on the hypotenuse side, which is the 5 centimetre side, so the area of a square on that side is 5 squared, and that is equal to the area of a square on a 2 centimetre side, which is 2 squared, plus the area of a square on the B side, which is B squared. 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4, plus B squared. We can take away 4 from both sides, so these will cancel. So 21 will equal B squared. We can square root both sides, because the square and the square root will cancel. So the length of B will equal the square root of 21, which is approximately 4.6 centimetres. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of C and to work out the length of D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the 10 centimetre side is the hypotenuse. So the area of a square on the 10 centimetre side, which is 10 squared, is equal to the area of a square on the 6 centimetre side, which is 6 squared, plus the area of a square on the 3 centimetre side, which is C squared. 10 squared is 100, and that is equal to 36 plus C squared. We can take away 36 from both sides. These will cancel. So we have 64 is equal to C squared. We can take the square root of both sides. The square and the square root will cancel. So C will equal the square root of 64, which is 8 centimetres. If you haven't done so already, do you want to try and work out the length of D? Okay, so this time the 16 centimetre side is for hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. So 16 squared will equal 11.3 squared plus the D squared. We can take away 11.3 squared from both sides. So we have 16 squared minus 11.3 squared is equal to d squared. We can square root both sides. The square root and the square will cancel. So d will equal the square root of 16 squared minus 11.3 squared. So d is equal to approximately 11.3.
centimeters. So next is an isosceles right angle triangle. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.